Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Darren from WearTisters.com here with a first impression of the Jordan Flight Runner. This is Jordan's first running shoe. They've had had Trunners in the past, but this is their first shoe solely based for running. The upper is a Fuse upper. You can see the Fuse is real heavy around here. But when you get to this area, they kind of strip the layer of Fuse and you just see the synthetic like net material. Um, this probably reduces weight and as well make it a little bit more breathable but also have a little bit more natural ride, a little bit more flexibility where if it was all fused it might flex in, in a couple weird places. I think it's mainly for breathability and weight. Um, you do want a lot of airflow in your shoe when you are running. So that's a good addition. I like that they stripped the layer of fuse there. Underneath the underlay of the shoe is a mesh. Uh, it's this material right here because the underlay of the shoe is a booty-like construction. Kind of like the original Nike Free. As you can see, it's a booty-like construction. So it's a little bit weird to get on, but uh, it feels pretty good. Um, and it's very interesting design because this area right here is part of the upper. The upper is in the booty construction. It's, it's separate from the underlay but the upper fuses into the booty construction right here this is where they connect so it's a little bit of an interesting design it's kind of hard to explain but the upper is fused onto the booty right over along the eyelets and the tongue so that's a very interesting design we'll see how that performs uh, as far as the underlay the mesh is very comfortable and it's quite breathable there is material underneath the underlay inside of the shoe that takes a little bit away from the breathability, but I can feel airflow and air going through the shoe and through this the material. Um, not so much around here, obviously, but around over here you can really feel quite a bit of airflow. But if they put a different type of material underneath the underlay, it would have made it a lot more breathable. So the Jordan Flight Runner features what Jordan calls their dynamic fit technology. And you can see here. Uh, all the areas with the elephant print that goes all the way down to the forefoot, that's the dynamic fit technology. It's featured here on the lateral side as well as the medial side. There's a better view of it. Uh, it's for a supreme lockdown feel. Uh, it'd be a little bit more useful if you're making lateral movements like you do in basketball. You don't really do that when you're running, but it's nice to have there and I don't think it'll you know, restrict your foot anyway or make it uncomfortable. So it's nice to have, but I don't think it was too necessary at least in the forefoot area um, the ankle strap area does work because the cut is a little bit unconventional much like the adidas rose 2 so here's the adidas rose 2 as you can see the cut is uh, very low on these very untraditional and then you had these uh, bungee cord system uh, ankle straps that added support around the ankle for a better fit that lacks from the low cut as you can see here the Jordan Fly Runner has a very similar cut to the Rose 2.0 and then this strap reminds me a lot of the bungee cord system but it's a little bit different because it's not a bungee cord and it runs all the way down to the forefoot. So the dynamic fit system is integrated into the lacing system so these straps go all the way up and the laces tug on them. It's kind of like fly wire but different. Um, these are obviously a little bit more thicker than fly wire so we'll see how it performs. That's kind of what I'm going to be referencing during the review when I'm wear testing them is like how it works compared to Flywire so just, that's just something to note as you can see right here it's a very nice design and by the way guys these laces are very nice I know there's a whole rope laces craze going on where people are trying to figure out where to buy rose, rope laces and put them in all their shoes um, just buy the Jordan Flight Runner and steal them from the the shoe I mean these are really nice quality Rope laces, a very good addition, Jordan Brad. Really appreciate that. So the cushion setup on the Jordan Flight Runner is a targeted Nike Zoom system. There's one unit in the heel and one unit in the forefoot. So it's gonna be a very responsive ride. But the midsole is very nice. Very, very soft. I think it's Cushlon, which gives it a little bit extra bounce, which is very, very good for when you're running. It should work very nicely. It's going to provide a really good impact protections for maybe bigger runners because I think this shoe is targeted towards like big basketball players, you know, who love wearing Jordan band and they see that Jordan has a runner and they're like, oh snap, got to get it because basketball players do run and condition in the off season. So this is going to be really good for really big players or have it uh, footed, 
you know, runners who do run and it's going to provide really good impact protection with that Kushlan midsole and the Nike Zoom. The bottom of the Jordan Fly Runner is pretty nice. He had these black areas which are very durable. Uh, they remind me of the stuff we've been seeing on Adidas running shoes which uh, are helped made by the tire maker Continental. I'm not sure if any tire maker helped make these but it does remind me of it. It's very durable, very strong, very thick so it should last for quite a while and it should protect you from any conditions whether it be you know the track, the pavement, sidewalk or even slippery places if you live in Seattle. The bottom also has these uh, flex groove areas to provide more flexing in the forefoot. So that's a good thing that Jordan thought of the flex grooves in the front. Just for a little bit more natural, more comfortable ride, yet it still gives you cushion and impact protection. As far as the design of the Jordan Fly Runner, I really actually do like the way they look. I think it's a very clean shoe. This colorway in particular is very nice. The purple colorway is also very nice. But I like the red, you know, that's that's my shizzle. The elephant print found on the Dynamic Fit system is not 3M, which is kind of disappointing. It looked 3M. I thought it was going to be 3M. And 3M on running shoes isn't a style aspect. It's actually a performance aspect because a lot of people like to run at night when it's not so hot. And the 3M reflective material lets people know that there's runners on the side of the road. Uh, but there is 3M on this shoe. It's not on the laces. It's on this toe box right here. But I was disappointed there's no elephant print here. So that takes care of the Jordan Flight Runner first impression. Um, be sure to check weartesters.com for any of your performance need. And stay tuned for the performance review of the Jordan Flight Runner on weartesters.com. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.